Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Leon from Buck and Slug Reloaders. Put together this little video to share my initial thoughts on these new wads that just hit the market. SW250-12, slug wad, uh, modeled after the Winchester AA 12 uh, F114, which is, you know, designed for announcing a quarter load. Now, Ballistic Products, they market this slug as being a beefier, sturdier version that is suitable to stand stand up to uh, the rigors of of slug of cup and slug re reloading, which is pretty much what we do. So, my initial thoughts is pretty much look the same, except one's blue and <laughs> one's not. Um, so I decided to do a little investigation, if you will. So since they're beefier, eh, let's see what they weigh. We got 36.6 grains. This is the original, the AA12 Winchester Y. That's actually heavier, 38 grains. So let's see what this slug wad come, comes in at. So it comes in at just under 33 grains. That's interesting since how this is supposed to be a beefier, sturdier wad. It's actually the lightest out of all three of them. So let's check slug fit. So first we want to start off with the one ounce key drive. This is pretty much the slug that everybody starts off with. It's what I started off with way back when. Check the fit in the clay buster wad. Not a good fit at all. Clay Buster wads are notorious for not having a proper internal fit unless you add a 20 gauge nitro card. That still fits. Eh, not the best, but if that's all you got, I guess you know you gotta make it work. The original AA wads are getting a little bit harder to find these days. However, that's a pretty good fit. Got a little space in there. Add a nitro card in there. Fits even better. A lot better than the clay buster. So, let's see how this guy fits. As, let me zoom in on this. See if you guys can see that. I'm not sure if you can or not. There's a disc right there that protrudes kind of sticks out which is not present in the original clay buster wad just has a just a round stamp circle where this one actually sticks out I can feel it see how far it protrudes out right there that's a pretty pretty firm base so let's see how this guy fits in there that fits in there solid, very solid. See that? So that's a great fit with the leaf, leaf slugs. So let's try the .69 round ball. Perfect fit in there. All the way down to the base. And I like that little raised platform because it actually centers the ball. Now we compare that to the clay buster yeah, it fits, but it seems like it flares the pedals out a bit. See that? And let's try the original double A. That's a good fit too as well. All right. Next, I'm gonna try a larger round ball. This one comes in eh, seven two five ish. It's supposed to be a full bore round ball but you may can get by with one with one of these balls i haven't actually shot these yet so this is all new to me check the fit yeah that's a no-go don't even go all the way to the bottom springs back blurs out the pedals the double a yeah same thing so let's check new slug wide you hear it hit Fits all the way in the bottom, although it does flare out the pedals. 
a little, this may not be suitable for this particular ball here. So I'll probably have to paper patch this ball and we'll see when we get to it. So now we're gonna try the Lyman Foster Slug. Now these are designed to be a full bore slug. Eh, what the hell, man? Let's see what happens. Nope, that's a no-go. Eh, better, but still no. So what about this one? Still not a good fit. So, the Lyman Foster Slug is out um, as far as running this particular wad with this slug. Now what I have here is a Lyman Slug that has the swage rifling in it. Now back in the day when you used to could buy them, um, you used to could buy the actual swedging uh, kit along with the mold. Now they're extremely rare, extremely hard to find. Um, a member from Cast Bullets actually made these slugs, or he actually found the swaging kit, and he sent me a few to try. Now, my only concern about the swaging kit is how thin, oops, sorry, sorry about that, y'all. It's how thin it makes the skirt of an already thin slug. That's my only concern. This thin, a pure lead, it could easily like deform. But anyway, let's try the clay buster. Nope. The double A. Nope. Let's try this new slug wad. Nope. Now I might add, I do have a few wads where these slugs actually fit pretty nice and tight, but I'll cover that later in a different video. So, last and not least, it's the Lyman Sabo Slug. These are definitely designed to be shot in regular shot cups. But I might add that regular shot cups aren't designed to handle um, the rigors of loading these bad boys with slugs. So, as you can see here, that's not a good fit unless you add the nitro card. And as I stated earlier, clay buster walls are notorious for not having a good internal fit of slugs. So that's a good fit right there with the with the with the nitro card. The double A wad fits beautifully. So let's see what the slug wad does. That's a great fit. That's a really good fit, actually. I don't think you you need to add a 20 gauge uh, nitro car to the base of these. Eh, nah. I like that a lot better. Your slug should always be equal or slightly below, maybe slightly above the pedals. It shouldn't fit like this here. Okay, that slug sits way too deep and what happens is on the initial launch of the slug, these pedals get cocked in this way or cocked out that way and tears the pedals, which destroys their accuracy. So, now when I mic the pedals, I really can't tell a difference. Um, but the major improvement I see is the inside. Definitely, I believe these slugs were intended to be used with Lyman, uh, the 525s, and the Lee slugs, both Lee 7-8 seven, seven, ounce and 1 ounce slug. So anyway, um, guys, that's about it, man. Tell me what you think. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my page, Buck and Slug Reloaders, on, on YouTube and uh if you're on Facebook, swing by and check out my Facebook page too, Buck and Slug Reloaders. Once again, big shout out to Ballistic Products for the sponsorship. And I'll see you guys later.